Hi, it's me, Burbingish, and welcome to the final episode of the Curious Winter Progression. Picking up from last episode, right now we're just trying to speed all the way to uh, Frost Straw 75 and 50 medium and whatnot so that we can go and grab the Curious Winter, you know, the thing in the title. Because let's be honest, right now this is just like an ice progression. I just have like a starter sphere, not a Curious Winter. Kind of sucks how build making always has it so that the weapon requirement is last. But I guess it is nice for when you like finish the build and you put like the centerpiece on it, it's like, ah. Oh. There we go, soul bounded. Not very good for my progression purposes, but it's whatever. So right now we're trying to craft the Prophet's Cloak, which means we need a Bloodless Gem and a Dark Feather, and everything else I already kind of have checked off. So right now I'm just going to do a bounty or two just for both levels and the off chance that somebody just has a Bloodless on their body. John Kikoshi. Alright, let's see if I can uh, get him coming out the gate. Oh wait, no, he's already in front of me, okay. Hold on, I have Ice Daggers, what am I doing? Ah. Nice. Come here. I need Frost Draw XP. Ooh. Storm Cage. I heard they just like nerfed it this update. Ooh. Parry that. Okay, well, I got a little greedy there, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, what the... What was that? M1, M1. Ice Daggers. M1. Oh, he, he's going now. Okay. Crap. Frozen Servants. Oh yeah, Frost XP right here. Oh no, you come back here. Okay. No, come back here. You're not going to the Etrus Guards. You... Yep. There we go. Sorry. Sometimes I feel bad doing bounties where like after fighting them for a minute or two is like, Oh, wow, uh, this guy's clearly pretty new to the game. But then, like, oh, what the piss? Hi. Screenshot, okay. Sure. Like, when you're halfway through a Voidwalker bounty and it's like, oh, this guy really isn't, uh, isn't parrying as much as I would expect him to. But, like, <laughs> you're already halfway through the fight, so it would be kind of awkward to just, like, walk away. Kind of sucks how you can't really tell whether somebody's new to the game or not, because, you know, it's, like, based off of levels, four or five stars. A new player can get to level 20 easy, bro. Like, if they have the, like, if they just have enough knowledge of the game, level 20, you don't really need to block barrier and dodge it all that much. You could spend all day at Hive, even. Okay, hold on. I think I got a bit sidetracked. What was it? Oh, right. We were training Frost Draw XP, and also, I wanted to, uh, check out something here. The last update, they actually added mission boards and jobs and whatnot. That's right here you can do for factions. And since I do need XP, maybe this would be a good time to check out these new uh, little quests. We got Lower Aresia Bandit Camp, Lower Aresia Authority Patrol, Lower Aresia Megalodon Infestation. And all of these just tell me to go to Lower Aresia first for Etria, 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 whatever. All lowercase and no spacing. I think that's just like the... Oh, what? You sense the objective of your job is nearby. Oh! I have to kill those guys, huh? Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that was actually kind of easy. Oh, wait, I'm level 17. What am I talking about? <laughs> These jobs are probably meant for like... I don't know, freshies. Oh, yeah, huh? Um... I, I, I could pay off the central 40 rep, it's fine. Oh, job complete, nice. I guess I shouldn't have expected much from the loot. Oh wait, an iron spear. Hold on, is this better than what I have? Oh, it's slightly worse, well that sucks. It has like more base damage, but wait, what? Oh, more jobs, bandit camp. Is it, is it these guys? Oh, light work. <laughs> but yeah, this spear has like slightly higher base damage, but worse scaling. Oh, and another job done. Nice. I mean, there has to be, like, a more difficult one, right? The more difficult jobs, maybe from, like, the hive. I guess before we do anything else, we'll just finish up this last job. Megalodon infestation. That's probably over by... Oh, never mind. It's right here. It... Okay. Is it all just gonna, like, spawn a single mob for me to kill? That's the job. I thought they were gonna have, like, fancy quest objectives. That would have been pretty cool. Even if it was, like, just a... Uh... Oh, nice, I got my rep up. But yeah, even if it was like, oh yeah, retrieve a box and then bring it back to uh, some location, that would have been like a little nicer than just going around killing mobs, because like, I was going to do that anyways. <laughs> Let's go check out the quests at Hive and see if they're a little tougher. Is this it? Oh. Pressure infestation and... 
Crusher Regicide. I'm guessing Regicide means like they killed the entire regiment of the hive. I don't know, my vocabulary ain't that big. And also, it's the owl here. I do need a dark feather for my prophet's cloak. No. Well, that sucks. Maybe he'll be back later. So, are these jobs just gonna be uh, me killing freshers? Okay, so it's nearby. What the? <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not a fresher. <laughs> There we go. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a quest. Oh, wow, this one has a lot more than the other one. Can I, can I click on more of these? Is this my job? Just killing this mama fresher. There we go. Oh, that was the job. Nice. I mean, I guess the job system is a nice way to get rep, but I was hoping for something more like interesting where you get like, you know, actual quest lines and a little bit of a, a little bit of story along with it. Like imagine as you get better rep, you get like more and more quests available to you and each faction gets like one big mission with like a big storyline and whatnot. I think that would be pretty nice because the only faction where you could, you know, kind of have like a little history and like connection to is Etria. And the guy literally kills you at the end. Like, imagine we had the equivalent of the Duke Orizia quest for, like, I don't know, the Ignition Union. That would be so cool. You get, like, a special Ignition Union boss, maybe something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and also, where is this job? I've been looking for this fresher infestation job, and it's just not here. And I still have this Wraith Claw I got last episode that I have no idea what to do with. Hmm, seems like Ice Daggers is working again. Alright, let's check this hand. I guess I'll just freeze Carnivore and take Fragile Freeze right now. I'm not quite sure if I need Carnivore for the build. Ice cubes. To be honest, I don't really like using ice cubes. Like, I spawn it in, covers a bunch of my screen. But it just does so much damage. Like, ridiculous amounts of damage that you would kind of just be selling if you didn't use it. Oh wow, what is going on over here? <laughs> like, four people ganking and like a hive golem in there as well. Ooh, let's check this guy's loot. Please have a bloodless. No bloodless. Well, this sucks. I think if I just wait until this thing is done, I have a pretty good chance of, uh... Also, is that Voidwalker for me? Oh, crap. Hey, bro, relax. I'm trying to kill this fresher real quick. Oh, yeah. Help me out here. There we go. Well, I guess, uh, we're fighting now. Ice cubes. Just got these. Ooh. Is that hit? I can't tell. No, he bent predicted. Okay, that was kind of slick. What? He parried and got hit by my ice daggers at the same time. Ooh, that combo though. Ice daggers. Oh, I thought it was gonna be faster than that. Roll catch. Oop, I can't see with these ice cubes in the way. Oh my goodness. Nice. Hit it with the ice daggers. Oh yeah, let me get my spits in too. Pull out the ice cubes. They still have like, bugged animations. Like, it's, the animations for M1s are still hidden whenever you parry multiple things. I don't know if that problem is just unsolvable, cause it's just like, it's been a thing for so long, bruh. Is that another Voidwalker after me? Okay, well, I guess... He's gonna have to take his turn here. I'm at, what? He just slid out of that ice whatever eruption. The job is nearby. Not now, bro. Oop, nice. Little ice cube. What the? Oh, hey. Does this pressure really have to do it right now, bro? What the? There's another Voidwalker after my Voidwalker. Okay, well, that was just lagged. I thought that was uncancelable. Oh, well. Okay, I should probably lock in, huh? I am getting low.
Ooh, spine cutter. GG's. Ooh, Hero's Blade of Wind. I already have plenty of those, actually. Let's see if they have a Bloodless Gem. That would be really nice. No, nothing. But, oh, are you here to fight me? What's up? Can you log? I got bounty on you. Okay. I mean, that's one way to get back to the lobby. I mean, to the Void Heart. I mean, he could have logged as well. I'm just saying. It would have sent him back just the same. Well, we're back. I'm not sure if you actually need, like, the 50 medium as well to grab the spear. Or is it just like, oh yeah, you just need the Frost Draw 75. Well, anyways, we're getting very close. Soon, we'll finally have the Curious Winter after, like... I don't know, two and a half episodes. <laughs> Preferably, I'll be able to craft the Prophet's Cloak before I go down to layer 2. But if I have to, I might just get the Bloodless Gem from Chaser so that I can craft the armor back up in like uh, layer 2. I mean, not layer 2, Castle Light, yeah. Ooh, wait, hold up, Bloodless? No, dang. Alright, so right now we have 73 Frost Draw, which is very close to uh, the Curious Winter requirement, and to an uncap as well, so I might want to head over to Ferryman right now, get those last two points out the way, and also uncap it. And we use the Ironclad again. I, yeah, I told you guys this would be a good purchase. I wonder if there's a way to constantly maintain like the sense of exploration in games. Because one of Deep Woken's strength definitely is just like its world and just seeing what's out there. But it definitely loses its like appeal after you find out everything about the game. I'd say Deep Woken does a pretty good job of holding on to it just because of like its large expanse. But there's nothing quite like just trying it out for the first ever time. Well, anyways, let's start Ferryman and I'll keep yapping later. What the? Why do you vent already, bro? I thought it was, that was only like second phase. Does this work? Oh no, he just teleports away. I'm talking about the whole exploration thing because it was definitely like the thing that got me the most into Deep Woken. Like I used to play, um, I used to play Arcane, whatever it's called. I mean, like there's a bunch of Arcane games, I forgot. I think it was Arcane Adventures and the main appeal to me was also the exploration part of it. And then when Deep Woken came around, like the, I don't know, three or four years afterwards, it definitely reminded me of that experience. I feel like it's also the reason why people are like less hyped about Conquest than like Layer 2 or like Layer 3 or maybe even Central Luminant. Because they just want that first experience of just checking out the unknown all over again i've heard some people suggest like randomized maps or whatnot with like i don't know roguelike elements but i'd say that doesn't really have like the same effect of like carefully curated maps and whatnot both the developers like own touch on the stuff instead of just you know basically just soulless computer generated stuff i mean the segments of course the segments they have work put into them but it's just not gonna feel as cohesive Ooh, armor's needle Ooh, eh, wait hold on a bloodless gem wait hold the eyes remembered i forgot that ferryman drops it I might be rambling a little bit here, but I'm hoping I could figure out some way. Or maybe the dev team can figure out some way to just capture that feeling and uh, somehow keep it around for a long time. Otherwise, the other option is just like time-consuming design whatnot and making all that. I mean, I, I guess that is like what breathes the life into the map, so who knows. Maybe what I'm saying just isn't very uh, feasible. And also, ah, oh, crap, I forgot to uh, uncap Frostral, huh? I guess right now I could craft my Prophet's Cloak and then go in for another Ferryman just to uncap my Frost Draw. And then hopefully have enough XP to get the Frost Draw 80 and start working on my medium weapon. Here we are, let's buy some cloth. Uh, was that aimed at me? Prophet's Cloak. There we go. Mm. <laughs> I feel like the this outfit has a little too much black right now. I guess I'll just transmog this back on. I haven't figured out like a final design for the slot's outfit yet, so I'm still open to just kind of experiment with the loot I get. Well anyways, we are now decently well equipped. If you look at this, we have like 480 HP, uh, 30% slash resistance and whatnot like that. And except for the weapon, we're pretty much ready to go and uh, go fight Efron. Efron isn't actually that hard, so I could probably kill him with the spear I have right here. But that would also take a long time, so I might just search for like a 50 medium sword or spear or whatever. And just use that for the time being while I fight him. And then get the Curious Winter. Hmm, I wonder when Conquest is really seen. I wonder if there's going to be a big map update coming of Conquest. I mean, if they're adding new oaths, I assume they'll need like new places to be stationed at. Or they'll just add like secret spots in existing places. Places. That would be interesting to check out. Oh, I just remembered I've hold the M1 on. Why am I just spam clicking? I can just do this. Oh yeah, this is much easier. Now I don't have to get carpal tunnel. Alright, 80 frost draw. Let's see what we get. How do I not have old habits die hard yet? That's crazy. I'm actually missing a bunch of cards here. I think I might pick Strong Stern to roll for other rare cards that I need later. Even though I need old habits, battle tendency, all that. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that. 
Oh, I should have changed the freeze. What am I doing? Okay, well, battle tendency is still here. Let's see what we get for mantras. Hmm. Wow. Come on, I wanted Ice Lance. Okay, so I'm still looking for Ice Smash, Ice Lance, and Ice Skate. And none of these are the ones I want. Let me just burn. Yeah, I'm gonna burn Ice Fissure. And roll two. Oh, hello. Um, let me just get out of your face real quick. Oh my goodness, Florida server. I clicked that button five minutes ago. <laughs> that lag is ridiculous, bro. It's not even on the other side of the planet. It's in the same country. All right, so I was actually thinking, since I had this champion sword in my inventory here that only needs 40 medium, that I would actually level up my medium weapon a little bit and then equip it so I could go fight Efron. But after thinking for a bit, I was like, you know, the extra time I spend down in Efron is probably going to be less than me, you know, grinding up the medium weapon up in the overworld and then leveling it and then going down to Efron compared to if I just fight Efron and get a bunch of medium weapon that way, get the Curious Winter and actually get to use it. <laughs> so you know what, we're going down there with this Iron Tusk and it's gonna be, oh my goodness, I just picked up like four Amethyst earrings. Good thing it was only four, like I saw the notification, I was like, oh crap. Oh wait, hold on, I actually haven't checked if I need the 50 medium. All right, so it says I only need 75 Frost Straw to get it and the 50 medium to equip it, so we're good to go there. And also, wow, I should not be driving my ironclad. Oh, wait, hold on. There's boards down here as well. The fishermen. Okay, well, maybe I'll do all this later. I just want to go get my Curious Winter right now. Since we were on the topic of, like, big content patches, I wonder what layer 3 would actually be like. Not as in, like, it's design where it's like, oh, yeah, it's the vents with a bunch of lava and stuff, and it's uh, real hot because please see. But more so, is it going to be, like, a dungeon or another open world? You know, like I mentioned earlier, I do like the exploration part of it, so I'm hoping it is open world. And I'm guessing that it probably is going to be, because layer 2 can only really pull off this dungeon thing, since if it's a time gimmick. It was like, oh yeah, Efron's messing with like a uh, time or something. That's why Chaser comes back every time. They're probably not going to reuse like the same stick for layer three as well. So wait, I should have gotten Ice Skate. But like the one or two people that don't know for like the Curious Winter, you got to grab it at the very end when you're running away from the big Efron like time collapse crap. And I'm not sure if I can make it in time to grab it without Ice Skate. All right, well, we'll think about it after this Chaser. And also, whoops. There we go. Five minutes later. Yay! Let's see. Uh, mid. Actually, wait. Oh, 26 HP. Hey, that's not bad. <laughs> Is there anything with like a 20 medium requirement? Ooh, moonlit earrings. Hold on. That on. Well, I guess since we're here, I can take some time to think about whether I want to go up to grab Ice Skate or just keep going. Okay, yeah, I think I should go up and grab Ice Skate because there's a part where I pass a bunch of Kira's guards and they can probably just like infinite ragdoll me to death and lose me a bunch of time. And Ice Skate can help me bypass that, so I'm uh, I'm gonna go. You know, just to be safe. Let's check how much medium we got. Alright, we hit 33 medium weapon. That's actually pretty good, considering we haven't even done Efron yet. What is going on here? No! <laughs> well, there he goes. I feel like I just walked in on the end of some, like, series finale. Ooh, a free chest. Ritual Spear, hold on. Let's see, 35 medium. Well, we're too off here. Alright, so if we get the 35 medium while fighting our second chaser, it might be smart to equip that. Uh... Oh! Alright, well, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> that guy takes like 10 hits to kill with my PvE build and also does like a bar per hit. I can't even imagine how many it would take with my Iron Tusk. I mean, it's crazy having such an OP mob in the game, but it's also like, oh, it brings back that sense of like, oh crap, you need to be out of here now. Well, anyways, let's re-roll our mantras here at the Shrine of Temptation. And we're getting rid of Frozen Servants, because it sucks. Oh, shoot, I forgot to... Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> I forgot to use the mystic. All right, well, uh, we learned from our mistakes here. Master level ice mantras. Ice carve. Please give me ice skate. Yes, there it is. Does it matter if I level up ice skate or not? I don't think it really does, right? Because its duration is just based off of my ether. Is it... Bro, again? Well, at least... Wow, what? No, I did not mean... Oh, goodness. I didn't mean to cancel it. I accidentally right clicked. Okay, time to run. It's not corrupted this time, at least, so... You know, I'm not too worried. Are you serious? Why are these things so common? <laughs> I see more Broodlords than Sharkos at this point, bro. Like, what is this? Yeah, like I was saying earlier, nice to have something overpowered. But also that there's too many of them. Way too many. Drop their spawn rates, bro. Like, what is this? Oh. Oh, I see now. 
That's what happens if you don't level up Ice Skate. Okay, then. Well, that's pretty much useless to me, then, if I don't upgrade it. Oh, well, crap. Oh, boy. Time to go on an entire journey again. Oh, what is going on with that line, Vish? All right. We're finally here. After, like, 10 minutes of driving while watching YouTube in Deep Woken. Let me just uh, get my Ice Skates up. And I might as well just level other stuff here. Yeah, I told you guys I would have the notes even after I bought the Ironclad. And I still got 2k to spend. I am running a little low on food and I don't have carnivore, So I guess I'll just grab some uh, stuff from Land Slushies and then head back down. You know, sometimes I think about all the time I could have saved if I just actually remember to do stuff. <laughs> here we go. Uh, dip, 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 yep, there we go. Wait, what the? Wait, how'd I manage this? I have two profits rings on. So this one has like 3 HP, 3 posture. This one has 3 HP, 10 ether. Huh? Oh. I accidentally just unequipped it. Oh. I just fumbled a cool little bug. Well, I mean, my damage didn't change, so I'm guessing it didn't really do anything. Yeah, sure, I'll put on this Rosen's ring. All right, we're back in layer two. Our ice skates should be working now. Yep, look at that. I'm not falling. Uh oh, whoops. I, just, I gotta stop right clicking, man. Uh... Boom, level 20. All right, I guess I'll take Impervious here. Frozen legs, nice. And Chrono, why not? Ice Lance. All right, that's actually a lot of the stuff that we wanted there. I don't know about the rare cards though. I picked them up just like I mentioned earlier for, to reroll later, but now I'm not sure if I have enough common cards to get everything I want. But we can worry about that after we get the Curious Winter and get a bunch of knowledge from all the medallions. All right, come on, first try. Boop. Boop. Oop, first try. And we're back. There we go. Boom. Let's see what we got. Delver's Duster. Wow. Is that... Is that seriously 6 HP? Well, that sucks. Alright, now that we're ready to go down to floor 2, I feel like some of you guys are probably telling me in the comments right now, her big ish, you forgot to put on the Ritual Spear, since you know I had 35 medium from leveling up after that Bone Keeper. But honestly, I feel like I might just use this uh, Iron Tusk, since you know, it's basically our day one weapon, bro. We've been with this thing since the very beginning, I wanna kill Efron with it. You know, I don't know if there's like some symbolism or whatnot, but this feels better than using some like Ritual Spear I picked up 10 minutes ago, so uh, let's go. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I have to talk to this guy here, who's gonna talk about his brother that made the spear. Ah, you are not one of us. Why are you here, friend Walter? Efron woke up. A ritual? What happened here? Uh, said he woke him? Um, 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 I'm outsider. Uh, yeah. You know, I would love to cover all this, but then my retention would go like, your kin, are they still here? Oh, here we go. Here's the part about his brother, yeah. My brother could fashion the finest spears of frost, infinitely more elegant than the stuff today. Alright. That should let us go into like the little place once we beat up Efron, of course. You know, now that I think about it, how many of you guys actually went through layer 2, floor 2, like completely blind and no help on YouTube whatsoever? I'm guessing not many, because if you were anything like me, I, you know, you didn't really want to wipe. Which kind of brings us back to this like whole exploration thing, the media part. Like it's fun when places are risky, right? But at some point, like people are just going to be so scared of the risks that they don't even bother to like check out everything normally. Like say in the overworld, when like Deep Woken first dropped, everybody was willing to explore because, you know, you had like one extra life as like a safety cushion. Uh, down here, you don't really have that. If you die, it's uh, it's over. Plus this puzzle, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how people figured it out. Is it just like trial and error? Our first chest. Boom. 17 medallions right off the bat. I'm going Dawnwalker, so I automatically need like 30 medallions. But I also need like... Oh, wow. That was really loud. But I also need like more just for like knowledge to reroll. Another chest. 17. Now we're at 52. I'm aiming for somewhere around 80. I think that would be nice. All right. So you guys see like the little rocky part there and like this building right here. So when I'm done with Efron, I have to go right in between these two buildings into that spot over there. And uh, the Cure's Guard spawn right there, which is why I wanted the Ice Gate. Now that we have 84 medallions, let's go and fight Efron. Let me, uh, let's do some last minute preparations here. Get my medium weapon up from Chaser. Oh, this is actually a lot of points. <laughs> okay, 46. Very close. Efron is definitely going to give me a uh, 50. All right, let's go. We have ghosts here, so dodging the ult is just going to be very, very easy. No! I just really lost all the bones. Dodge. And uh, that's 50 medium right there. We can now officially equip the Cure's Winter once we get it. Boom. Alright, let's go. Wait, what? Oh, I missed one. 
All right, now there we go. Those ice cubes just went straight into the floor. All right, second round. What the? <laughs> Wait, he, did he just faint? Did everyone just learn how to faint, bro? What is this? Okay, this should be the third round. I wonder if this will be the last. Nope. Okay, well. Don't know what I expected. I am using the Iron Tusk. Oh, perfect. Alright, this is the fourth round. Okay, they're gonna make me do it a fifth time. Can we have like a secondary HP bar for like bosses where it's just the amount of hits that they took? Like, bro, I hit this guy a bajillion times already. Clearly, I'm not gonna die to this guy. Trying to kill... Well... Oh, there we go. Go, go, go. Uh, duh. Where's the exit? Oh, crap. Really don't want to lose time here. Uh, and fumble my chances of grabbing the Heroes Winter and wipe. Nice lance. Oh, I need my Aether back. Do I have Golden Tongue? No, I got the buff, not the Aether. Ah, oh, this sucks. Okay, so... I think the method here is to climb that tree and then pop Ice Skate so I can get a lot of height. Alright, there we go. Is this too close to the floor? Oh my goodness, he just jumped. Alright, so we go through this gap here with the really rocky place. Uh... Yes, interact. Here's 130. Hello. I don't know what that dialogue read. I'm uh, in a bit of a rush here. Yep, we got the Curious Winter. Let's uh, get out of here. I have 40 seconds on the clock. I think that's actually... Yeah, that's actually a lot of time. What am I worrying about? <laughs> hey, bro, relax. And we are out. All right, we now have the Curious Winter. All right, I'm this all bounded. Boom. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I love the design on this thing. It's very... I don't know how to describe it. Very fancy. <laughs> Alright, so this thing does 26 damage, plus 7.8 bleed, 20% pen, 9 range, and 0.96 swing speed, which is actually pretty fast. Like, if you look at the Iron Tusk, it only has like a 0.9. Let's swing this thing. Yeah, that's pretty fast. And we have the crit. Boom! That's a guard break, I think. Did they nerf it yet? I'm always hesitant to make like legendary weapon progs, because by the time I finish it, it's like, oh. They, they gutted the weapon already. It's like, ugh. But hopefully it's still a guard break. I mean, like, look at that. That is that not, like, the most telegraphed attack ever? If you get guard broken by this, that's on you, Brad. <laughs> and we have the running attack. Where we do a little flip. Boom. And I heard it uppercuts as well. Which might be nice to just follow up into Ice Smash. Get, like, a little quick guard break in. Oh, right. I almost forgot. We have 84 medallions now. Let's go grab our oaf as well. Boom. Dawn Walker. Hey, this looks pretty nice. Dawn Walker matches with, like, the little spear. Still don't know what I want to do for, like, the outfit, though. And let me speak the words in their entirety. There we go. I'll move ice cubes to five. Radiant kick here. And I'm looking for ice smash here. I'm still missing that. All right. 50 knowledge should be enough. Roll in here. I am missing my bell right now. I might check for that after I finish rolling my stuff. Alright, so let's use the Shrine of Unification and get rid of some cards that I don't need. I don't need in a hurry. Nor pickpocket. Alright. Oh, I forgot the Mystic again. Oh my goodness, bro. How do I keep fumbling this? <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll just take Iceberg and just reroll that again. Iceberg. Please give me Ice Smash. Ice Forge, Ice Chain. Wait, when did they add a 1-star Ice Mobility? Oh! Wait, I'm dumb as Glacial Arc. <laughs> Please give me Ice Smash. No. I'm just gonna burn Ice Forge and see if that helps. Oh. Wait. Maybe? Ice Blade? No Glacial Arc. Yeah, sure. Yes, Ice Smash. Okay, finally, bro. How many rolls did that take me? There we go. That's the setup. I guess I'll throw Radiant Dawn right here, even though I don't really reach to my 9 key. I do have a lot of talents to reroll for, but I'm probably gonna do that off camera. But I'm probably gonna do that off camera since that sounds a bit boring, just me rerolling talents for like a bajillion years. Alright, come on, let's go. I'm gonna sit back and relax. Alright. There we go. Alright, get out of here. Let's see what we get. Skeleton key. Okay, well. Looks like I'm re-rolling. Uh, I guess I'll just take payback for now. This is a nice bell model. Let's go ahead and re-roll our bell. Smite preservation. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting here. Maybe smite would be nice for like the extra pressure on ice. Like imagine one of the smite ball goes towards them and I throw ice daggers as well. Make our bell just pitch white. Actually, that's a little too white. Maybe a little bit off. There we go. Yep, that's looking nice. <laughs> Ooh, I should put this bell design on my chaser slot. 
since he has like six bells that he got from other divers speaking of which i wonder what chaser's bell is he never really showed us oh wait that would have been so cool actually like imagine in the middle of the fight the phase two activates by him like dying and then getting his bell that would actually be very interesting because we never seen anybody other than a player get a bell untarnish our bell there we go i think it's time for us to go on the test run win ashy hello let's fight let's see if i can hit him with the crit off the bat here oh he paired it ice daggers faint ice daggers Ooh. Ooh. wait running attack oh that hit all right the running attack is also like connected to the other cooldown I just try to use it like again at the same time. Radiant Dawn. Ah, I fall on the off chance if he, if he didn't hit me there, I would have gotten a free ice eruption off. Let's hit him with a little guard break here. Nice. Ice daggers. Oop, ice eruption. Crit. Into the running attack. I completely missed that, but that's fine. I thought I was gonna hit. GG's. I'm not gonna kill him because I don't really need the XP. Then Julie at the same spot as last time, interestingly enough. Let's go. Hit him with the Ice Lance. Oh, this is a 1v2, huh? Let's see if I can hit him with a cheeky little crit right here. Oops. Oh, wait, that's actually smart. Like, this Vision Shaper clone can give you the, the what's it called? Soul Foreign stacks. Alright, hold up. I think I might need to lock in a little bit here. What's up? Kill me? Uh, okay. Sure, I guess. Oh, let's fight. Alright, sure. Or if you don't want to heal up, that's fine with me. Ooh. That was a chunky... What? That actually landed? I didn't expect the ice eruption to land. I just tried the rising wind. M1, M1. Ice smash. M1. Ice lance faint. Ice lance. Boom. GG's. Here's for your silent heart. <laughs> oh, hey, an enchant. Nice. Hey, Lurk. Was that guy trying to attack me? Hey, man, let's fight. Oh, nice. Very enthusiastic. Oop, missed my own one there. I always hate that about the Radiant Dawn. I just can't see anything after I landed. Oop. Oop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this build actually has some nice combos, bro. Very fast, like, wind-up moves. Let's see if I can hit him with a cheeky little ice eruption. Oh, I got him. Oop. Ice daggers. Into ice smash. Into running crit. I completely overshot that. Oh, oh right. My crit is on cooldown. <laughs> Whoops. Pop this down. Alright, and that's going to be it for the Curious Winter Progression. I hope you guys enjoyed this series as I have making it. And as usual, if you want to see more of my content, consider subscribing. And yeah, have a great rest of your day and goodbye.